What this application does, it mimics the Apple as far as the touchpad gesture control. So let me show you. Open up a program right here, Firefox. Um, if you want to get back to our desktop, we can just take our fingers here and we expand it out. It takes us right back to our desktop. Very simple, very quick. Um, let's open up Chrome. We have a couple sites open. If I use my fingers and swipe on the edge of the touchpad, I can actually go to back to different sites. So for example, it scrolls me back through all my sites I've been to as far as history and things like that, <clears throat> and, and vice versa. It's super easy to use, very very simple to use as well. Um, you can use your fingers on the side and go up and down to, to scroll on the website. It's a really, really clean gesture and it really adds functionality to touchpad. As you can see here, they added like a very large surface space for you to use it. I'm not a Mac user, but this is one feature I love, I love, love, love in the Mac operating system. On the good, on the good note, gesture control actually finds a way to mimic this on your Android device. Once you install Gesture Control from the Play Store, you know, I hate the Play Store name. That's a terrible name. They should go back to the market or, or whatever they want to call it. Play Store is just a, it's an awful name. Anyways, we can come up in here um, and, and I drop down notification and we can go ahead and configure the application. These are the defaults that I'm running right now. Um, the free version gives you the defaults and um, once you get the paid version, you're able to modify the defaults and create your own gesture. So. So anyways, these are, these, are the, uh, these are your options right now. Uh, you have everything, just standard settings. Um, kind of like what I showed you on the iMac. If you expand out, it takes you to your launch pad, which is kind of um, you know, quick applications like this. All your applications that you want to access quickly. Um, if you go from the bottom up, you launch the launch bar. If you squeeze, pinch them together, it takes you back to home. Um, kind of like I showed you with the previous websites, it does the same thing with a previous application, except for it's four fingers versus the two fingers. Um, you can do back, and you know, there's different options you can do here. You can also add your own, so that's really cool if you get the paid version. Uh, like I said, this is just the free version that I'm running right now. Um, anyways, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and give it a shot. So it says for us to go home, we're gonna use four fingers and pinch them together. And we're back at the home screen. Really cool. Now if we open this up, it takes us to our launch pad and, and all of our applications down here that we can use. So really cool kind of a way to, to flip between applications really quickly. There we go. Um, previous applications. Oh, four fingers. When I get the paid version, I'm gonna switch that to, to, to two fingers because four, four fingers is pretty tough to use in my opinion. So, I mean, it works as it says it works. I, mean, I have no complaints. Now you have to be rooted to use this application. That's the only um, downside for, for some users. You know, the first thing I do when I, get when I get a device is I root it. However, some users are uncomfortable with rooting and things like that, which is understandable. Um, however, I like to root as soon as I get a device. So, rooting isn't a big deal for me. Um, but you know, um, so you, you gotta root. You gotta root if you wanna use this application because it, it modifies your system in a way that applications cannot. Uh, another thing that I don't like about the application, but it, it's required, it has to run in your little taskbar or notification drop down. It has to run up here at all times. And I, I don't like, I don't like it being cluttered. I already have enough things in there running right now. Um, but yeah, uh, that's really it. The application is super simple. Um, it does what you expect it to do. Um, when you get the free, when you get the full version, which I believe is five dollars right now, um, you can expand it to do um, whatever you want. Basically, you can have a certain gesture to open a certain application. You can have a gesture to do different system tools and things like that. So it does what it says. Um, it's a great, great price, five dollars for the full version or free. If you're, uh, if you want the free version, just use the default actions and um, yeah, that's it. Another reason I love Android, you can um, get applications that can modify the system and do things that you never thought could be done possible on a mobile device. All right, that's it guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. Always, always, always share, like, subscribe. You know, I really like making videos and um, I really enjoy these videos and hopefully a lot of people can see them and also learn some things and get some cool tips out of them. All right, that is it and uh, have yourself a great night and I'll see you guys later. See ya.